Good morning, guys. It has been so long since I have done a chit chat. Get ready with me. If you're interested in seeing and chatting with me, getting to know what's going on, things on my channel that may be coming up, and just playing with things in my everyday makeup bag, then keep watching. How are you guys doing? It has been so long. I feel like now that I'm entering like towards like 13, my like second trimester, I'm feeling so much better. I've gotten more on a routine, things going. So I am super excited to get back into the swing of things with my YouTube channel. Things have just kind of been really crazy in a good, bad way. It kind of depends on the day. But I'm excited to share again. It's been forever since I've done like Amazon hauls and things like that on my channel. I did a couple of like spring try-ons but I haven't like really shared with you guys like the random things I've purchased. Um, so that'll be soon. I just looked at what it is I've actually purchased and it seems to be a lot of toddler things. So I'm thinking of doing like two videos because I haven't shared like an Amazon haul video since December. I'll link my last one up above for you guys. So I'm gonna do like a toddler must haves like toddler haul and then I will do just kind of the random other things because I haven't been buying too much since now we do know we are expecting baby number two. I'm not buying too many more clothes. I'm not doing anything really that ridiculous unless it's for Jackson and I. So haven't done that much stuff but I definitely plan on doing some organization videos and cleaning videos again here on my channel as well as makeup but honestly with makeup and what I've noticed with you guys here who are watching me you guys really haven't been that into project painting that I thought you would be maybe that's just because the time period we're in or what but it's funny because I started off hardcore doing beauty, project pan, that kind of stuff. And then I started incorporating lifestyle. But what I'm noticing from my analytics right now is my lifestyle stuff is actually doing a little bit better. So I'm thinking of continuing on with that and doing a little bit more lifestyle stuff again here on my channel. I do still have the monochromatic project pan that I'm working on this year as well as the partners in cream which I missed the update date again so I will have to film that probably today and get that uploaded soon because I missed the past two update dates. I don't even think I'm on the playlist anymore for that which is fine. I don't even I haven't been that connected with the fantastic ladies in a while since everything that's been going on but definitely have that to be working on and then my pan that palette which is my charlotte tilbury that i'm using right now so i'm excited for that but like i said some cleaning videos i plan on and it could just be like mother instinct spring cleaning what have you i plan on going through each room in my house fully deep cleaning it with you guys and then sharing some of my top Amazon products for each room because honestly majority of you guys know if it's not Target it's Amazon that I'm purchasing things from so I'll be sharing some of my must-haves and stuff like that with you guys really really excited excuse all of these weird pimples going on around my mouth I could like say oh it's masny no it's definitely hormones and this baby inside of me that is just making me a break out like no other which is not very fun but yeah so how are you guys doing it is what day is it? it's like april 15th when i'm filming this i just totally binge watched the four episodes of the circle that they just released if you haven't seen the circle on netflix definitely check it out because it is so good they have this is the second season they put out. So the first season, basically what it is, is where they put eight or nine people in different rooms and they create their own social media profiles. And from there, they can be themselves or they can catfish and be somebody else. And basically, it's a social experiment popularity contest. And it's really interesting. So check out the trailer if you're interested. And then I just, like I said, binge watch. The first four episodes they drop, they're going to drop one episode weekly, I think, or maybe one or two weekly. So I'll be excited for that. 
keep checking my time because whoop, I'm meeting with a lovely lady from my church that I have met through choir and Jackson the other day fell down at a park and scraped his knee and I don't really know what to do in those kind of situations. I just kind of figured I needed to just put a bunch of little of those like PJ Masks, Dollar Tree, like Target Dollar Spot Band-Aids on it. And that was, it would be good to, to go. Um, my husband was there and corrected me and got gauze and a bigger nap, bigger one and I'll, a bigger Band-Aid and Neosporin and that kind of stuff. So I discovered I don't know what to do in those kind of situations. If he falls down, like I need to kind of just get a brief like what to do when your kid hurts himself, especially since Jackson now is three years old. He is starting to play sports. So I just need to kind of get the gist of what to do. I talked to one of my girlfriends here who also has a YouTube channel, Ashley. Classic Ashley, I'll leave her channel up above. I love her. She has been doing YouTube videos for as long as I have. Hasn't been uploading too often, but I'm definitely one to watch it when she does. But she basically told me Neosporin and lots of visits to the doctor. So basically what I have looking forward to, especially if this is a boy. But we will find out the gender of baby number two. May, May 7th, we're going to go and get a 40 ultrasound at a private place close to us and find out the gender with me, Jackson, and Isaac, which I'm really excited about. Then we will run to like the um, furniture place where we got Jackson's nursery furniture. If you haven't seen our nursery tour, I did two videos of it. One before he was born. It's like a Pooh Bear nursery theme. I talk about everything that's in it. I can link that above as well as his, I think, one year update. I can link that above. I probably could update now with him now being a toddler bud, but we got his furniture from there. It's a crib that turns into a toddler bed which turns into a full-size bed so definitely one to grow with and we're going to try and get something similar for this one so we will check those sales out for memorial day really really excited this room we are getting a like moving company just to come and move a lot of this furniture to the third floor i need to clean out the third floor it's kind of just been our random like guest room but no one's ever used it Isaac's office is up there so he just has let that room go to crap in the bathroom everything like that so I need to be working on that so that may be a video here soon but because of me not feeling well first trimester also in March I went on a trip with my husband to Florida, just kind of like a private Airbnb that we stayed at. It had its own kind of pool, so it was really, really nice. And then I did a girls weekend with one of my girlfriends, but because of all that, my house kind of got out of control. So now that it is like mid-April, my house is getting back in my hands. Laundry, bathrooms, all that stuff has gotten taken care of. Thank you so much to preschool and my mom for coming on Wednesday so I can get my life situated and organized. But that has been nice. We've also, like with nap times, it's kind of been all over the place. There was a period that we were not getting naps. But there's like a fine line between if you want your kid to go to bed before 9 or if you want a nap. So we're still working on that. But a bunch of my lovely friends have had baby number two. Had a nice like coffee chat with one of them the other day. And it was just so nice to see her. I'm so ready for reality and things like that to get back and more outdoor play dates, outdoor kind of mom's night outs, walks, things like that. I'm so looking forward to spring. 
Um, a lot of my friends actually have gotten fully vaccinated now, which is nice. Don't know if all of them have. I haven't asked all of them, but good bit of it ha of them have. I haven't gotten my first shot yet. I'm getting my first shot on Monday. I wanted to fully wait until I was out of the first trimester and Monday I will be turning 13 weeks. If you are pregnant and haven't checked out the What to Expect app on iPhone or whatever on your phone, um, they group you up with the same similar month, birth month of moms and a lot of moms have already gotten their vaccines and that was something I was definitely like nervous about like for good reason um, and a lot of them have gotten it in the first trimester and the baby's doing good. Um, a lot of early studies was talking about the third trimester of people getting vaccines. So since I will be in the second trimester, I do feel comfortable enough to get it. Um, I talked to my doctor about it and they basically were like, I should get it because I have Jackson and it's not like I can quarantine at home. I could quarantine at home again, but I'm not, I'm not going to. Like who wants to quarantine at home with the toddler again and be pregnant? Like it's nice outside. I want him to play outside with his friends. So because of that risk factor, I will be getting it. Isaac got Johnson and Johnson, what was it, a week ago. So he is going to be good. My parents are getting their second shot. I think my dad just got his second shot. Isaac's parents got it. So we're just, we're looking good for that kind of stuff. I am definitely, if you have not been following me for baby number one, I'm definitely vaccine conscious of who I hang out with. And with COVID and things like that, with this baby number two, I'll probably be like that again until things in the world get a little bit better. Um, it does kind of hurt some relationships with friends and some family members, but you kind of have to do what is best for you and your family. And we will probably stick with people who are vaccinated um, once things like start opening up more. Just for me being pregnant, baby coming in, Jackson, things like that, just to kind of be safe with that kind of stuff. But yeah, I mean, gosh, it seriously has been so long since I talked to you guys. Like Easter happened. I hope Easter went well for you guys. Jackson's birthday happened. But yeah, we're going along. It's being nice. Like seriously, I hate this little little dude. Times it. I feel like I need to go soon. But I just wanted to chat with you guys. I am thinking of doing a video of my favorite Mexican recipes that I do with my family. Now I am half Mexican and don't speak a lick of Spanish and things like that. But I have some kind of meals on my channel that I've shared with you guys. And a couple meals that I can try out for you guys for Cinco de Mayo. So hopefully I can get that under wraps and figure it out and share that with you guys here. I'm kind of sad I can't have like a traditional margarita, but you know, non-alcoholic is good as well. So this has kind of been my everyday kind of makeup look lately and I have been liking it. Isaac, my husband, is still in busy season right now. So he has been super busy. In my coffee, I made it like super bougie today. So I have the Stoke Unsweet Black Coffee. I fill it up to about right here. Splash of whole milk that we have. Then, oh wait, let's start from the beginning. I put ice in it. Then I get Smucker's Caramel Drizzle and I drizzle it like Starbucks does all around the edges. Then I fill up the Stoke Coffee, whole milk. Then I have the Starbucks white chocolate creamer. Pour that in a little bit. So all of the, like, the milk and the creamer is right here at this top line. And then I just got the Coffee May M&M's creamer. So this is, this is like dessert. So good. So worth it. But for right now with me being pregnant, they recommend only one cup of coffee. So you got to make it, got to make it work. It has been forever since I've been to Target, like before Easter, so I would love to go to Target 
if you do a shop with me here on my channel that would be super fun but let me know if you guys have any video suggestions for me i'd love to know what you guys would like to see here on my channel like i said i've noticed my channel kind of having weird dips of what people are interested in i think that's part of the reason why around this time last year i created the two channels so one would be more lifestyle and the other one beauty but it really wasn't growing the way I thought it was going to grow but I definitely kind of think I need to do more lifestyle again here on my channel. I do have a lot of pregnancy things coming like my first trimester essentials and getting ready for baby that kind of stuff but I don't want to just be a mommy channel. I still like doing makeup but I honestly, maybe it's just because of COVID and that kind of stuff, haven't been purchasing a lot of makeup or new makeup to play with. Like I'm not getting anything from the Sephora sale this year. So like that kind of stuff is missing from my channel, I know, but it's not something that I'm doing like right now is buying a lot of makeup beauty stuff. I know another thing you guys really like on my channel are, are Bath and Body Works hauls. And since I have gone to the dermatologist, I really don't buy a lot of Bath Body Works stuff anymore. I'll still buy candles and hand sanitizers, but body washes for me, I'm probably going to stop buying, especially while I'm pregnant. I have a pregnancy update that I'll share with you guys a little more information on. But yeah, I think that phase of my life is slowly ending. So, which is really sad, but I will be sharing candles and stuff with you guys. But that is pretty much it for my everyday makeup look. I enjoyed chatting with you guys. I hope you did too. Leave me comments down below if you're interested in any specific videos here on my channel. And I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye. Stand right here and talk all night if you want I ain't got no place to be, no one's waiting for me I won't lie, I'm into you Got like a million ideas what we could do Cause I'm not gonna